Right, okay, let's start to show you some highlights. Let's begin from the Ghana Premier League. Kumasi Asanduko Kotoko. They're really high flying at the moment. Uh, they got a very good win against uh, Lions. But before that, I want to show you this derby game between Britain United and Brickham Chelsea, which ended in a one all draw. Take a look. 15th match of the season, and Okra and nearly troubled Grigori of Inception. That was tricky. You know, it's, it's, it's coming onto his left foot. He's trying to go down the lace. The ball takes an awkward bounce. Looking for his backpedaling. Can't take chances. So, gets ready to take this free kick. And then he swings one in. It is Kofi Ousu with a shot. And that's the opening goal. That's the striker's finish. Kofi Ousu, former goalkeeper of the Ghana Premier League. And so, there it is. It's the first ball. It's not the best of balls, but... They've not been able to clear it. It's Kofi Ousu got the first touch, got the second touch. Here comes Jackson Ousu. Amponses touch. Good save from Abdullah Idris. Kofi Ousu wanted it. And that's the whistle to wrap up the first half of this derby in Brekum. Welcome back for second half of the Ghana Premier League. It's Bacham United nearly finding that equalizer, Clinton Dodu. Look at the brings into the game. Look at him in his physical presence. The cause of problems for the defenders. Doesn't even know where he is. And Dodu. Kofua. Henry Ainsu. Good save from Abdullah Idrisu. He protects the other side, sees the ball all the way. And Kofua. But United would not mind here. It's Okras. Good cross in. That's the equalizer. Emmanuel Anno pulls parity. 1 1 here in Brekum. All right, so um, Bechem United are now unbeaten in their last 10 matches. It's an incredible run that's now taking them up to second on the Ghana Premier League table. But let's move it on and show you this one uh, between Kumasa and Tokotoko. And Accra Lions. That game happened at the Accra Sports Stadium on Saturday. And Frank Eutuga Mbella, the Cameroonian import, scored a hat trick to tame the Lions. Sharif, here comes Etuga. Good fight. That's the first goal. Etuga puts Kumasia Santico to go ahead for his ninth goal of the season. The Cameroonian is on fire. He missed the crucial spot kick. But all started from Kotoko's quick corner kick on a shot. But look at him. He's always looking for the ball on the edge of the box. It's a Tuga. Ball broke kindly for him. Just took the ball around the defender there. Striking the ball with some real power. But that is poor goalkeeping. He should be making the saves. Asma for Kotoko. But a champion will put one through for Awuni. Good play from Awuni. Does he get the equalizer? Accra Lions. Been better. Look at that. It was too easy to get the ball past him, and then Mubarak as well. The little shimmy disguised him, and he went off. Kotoko gets a penalty. Can he convert this time? Etuga makes it easy. It is 2 0 for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Give the goalkeeper the eye and put it in the, in the other end. Christopher Champon. Here is Awuni with a cut back. Che goes down. It's a penalty. Accra Lions. Che steps forward and he converts to reduce the deficit to one. It's now Kotoko two. Accra Lions one. Dangan is good from the spot kick, but that was good enough. Real power to get past the goalkeeper. It's half time at the Babayara Stadium in Kumasi. Lamte will push forward to join Afuakwa. Now Accra Lions in search for the equalizer. Christopher Echampon and Bassett. Just unable to find the back of the net. Stay Japan. Koroko get out of the block so impressively. And Etuga stays onside. Does he get his hat trick? Etuga. He grabs his hat trick and makes it 3 1 for Asante Kotoko. Got a hat trick against Ashko, and he has a hat trick today. What is there not to like about a player 
of such calmness. Of such. What a performance from the Cameroonian Frank Etuga and that came in Kumasi. And the celebrations that followed, uh, I love the connection with the Kotoko fans who were singing the players' names uh, and, and all of that. Mbela, Mfigi, Mbela. Oh, it was so beautiful. And it's really nice to always see the connection between the fans and then the players. And we have one more game to show you in the Ghana Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm singing, this too don't look. <laughs> you got mischievous looks on your faces. <laughs> You're going to sit here and take it. Don't worry. <laughs> I sat here and took it when you came here. And well, that, you won't you play the thing. There. <laughs> you won't play the thing. <laughs> ah, okay. Mbela, 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 Infigi, Infigi. Oh, what a guy sweet. Uh, anyway. So good for them. Hearts <laughs> uh, Folk went up to Tamale uh, to face RTU. That match ended nil-nil, but we do have some highlights for you. Gets us going and it's... It's up against Rashid. Mensah. Here is Isaac Mensah. He's missed. Glorious opportunity for Isaac Mensah. He did so well to weave past the bodies, but once he got one on one with the goalkeeper, all he had to do was to just guide the ball into the back of the net. But credit to the goalkeeper there, he was well into it. He had the best chances. Half time here at the Aluma Amar Sports Stadium in Tamale. Like who's come on now? Fatal, the captain, is moving to centre half alongside Club. Free kick taken. Richard Atta. They've posted. Some impressive wins over corner. He swings one to the far end and it's in Kumakosa. Decent effort from the former Abusua Dwarfs captain. Awako. Here is Banyan. Sends a shot across. Sule Muntari. He tried the volley onto the strike. Didn't quite catch it the way he would have loved it. But the cleanest of connections. The ball hit the turf and much power straight to the arms of the goalkeeper Ka. Caleb Amankwa goes in with a challenge on Victor Edu referee whistles he reaches his pocket and if the referee thinks this is a foul then it's going to be a sending off really because the last man Fatal is out of the picture has the referee on the far side and has settled on the yellow card which then would mean yes, that it's the second yellow in. card and it's a sending off it's a red card for Caleb Amankwa. Now here is Awaku. And Saboche. And Saboche! Kwambuachi for RTU. We're in the third minute of stoppage time. RTU coming close and Isakuka. All right, so um, there you had it. Uh, very interesting uh, results from there. There were... Uh, other games played, of course, in the Ghana Premier League. I don't know what's going on with Wafa. They lost to Karela United at home. So this season is not looking really good for the academy boys there. Guys, quick thoughts on the matches we've seen. Um, beginning from Kumasi, namely. I mean, this Etuga boy, he is, at the moment, unstoppable. 11 goals now, I believe, in yeah, Ghana Yeah, he's on Premier form. League. He's on form. And uh, the whole team. Yes. They are playing very well. Yeah. You can see proper cohesion, proper chemistry, proper understanding. This is what coaching does to a team. They know what they are about. On the set piece, the corner that resulted in the first goal. Yeah. The Akra Lions people were expecting the ball to be floated in. Yeah. yeah. And then it was a short one, brought out. Although the shot didn't find its tag, but very typical of a striker. He's always on the move, trying to pick up the little bits and pieces in the box. Because spaces. he knows that's his area. So once he can get hold of that run object, he's shooting at goal. And watch yeah. the goal again. Yes, you want to fault the goalkeeper on that face goal of because course, you you don't out. get beat where you are standing. So that aside, I want to highlight the third goal for every striker. You see, most of the time, most of our players in our local league, they don't know... The connection between the eyes, the brain, and, and the, the leg. Mm -hmm. They don't understand that. If you go back to that first goal, the moment 
the ball went past the defender. The first thing he did was to watch the goalkeeper. The moment you see, there's connection with the brain. So he has a clear idea of the distance between him and the goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. The second thing he did was to now control the ball. That again has connected to the brain. And the eyes know exactly where the ball is. So he kept his eyes on the goalkeeper and then knew that he needed to go past him and yeah. just plant the ball in the back of the net. So again, that, these are the trademark of players who've gone through proper coaching and proper training. And for me, that is what is making him look so good and look so yeah. special. Okay? This is the first goal. Look, my team should be blocking, should be defending this ball with ease. There he goes. He's on his... Look at that. The first control completely... It was a great first turn. touch. The first touch that's turned him into where he wants to be. Because from the way he's playing, he, it's like when he enters the box, he knows he's the king there. Yeah. You, if you touch him and you don't touch him legally... He goes down and he gets the penalty kick. And for me, that is what every striker should be looking at, mimicking from such a good player. I don't remember. The last time Kotoko brought in any product from Cameroon, you remember that product, Ebola, Sanji, eh? Mm -hmm. Was that he was an absolute disaster. Mm -hmm. This guy is a, the, he and his in partner. Fact, two of them failed. Yeah, they have huge upgrade on what Ebola Sanji brought. I know you never got a chance to sing Ebola Sanji. Ebola Sanji. Ebola Sanji. But with this young man, with this young man and his strike partner from Cameroon, you can afford to seek in Vega, in Vega, in Vega. Simply because. In a Tuga. In Vega and a Tuga. Simply because they are doing the basic things. Yeah. You see, football is all about going down to the basic. I wish we should go. We, no, we're going to the third to goal. The the third goal. So that goal. you see what, all that I'm talking about. But when, we talked about, I mean, and, and this is something that we love about Cameroonians. They yes. seem to have a knack for producing gold poachers. And see, it's, it's. It has not, to do with their mentality. Yeah. And it goes way back. And we're not just talking about recent... We're not even talking about recent years. No, 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 no. We're talking about from Roger from Miller's Roger time. Miller, to, the history to, has been you know, there. To, the embalmers to, to the... To Eto 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 and all that. This is it. And, and so, so watch him. Now he's watching the goal. He knows. So there's a clear connection. And you can see the two defenders. Of That's course. why he, he kicks it high. High. He knew where they were. That is, that is what I mean about the connection between the eyes, the brain, and yeah. the foot. And if you can do that as a player... You're always going to get it right. Unlike the House of Oakland. You remember the House of Oakland? Mm -hmm. The one that Isaac mentioned mm -hmm. just blazed. I Although, know. Yes, I saw it was a great chance. You want to blame the pitch. But if you look at the technique, he yeah. went for power. Mm -hmm. All he needed to do was to just, Tap once up. the ball has bounced, just lift it up a little bit. Just a touch. Simple touch, isn't mm -hmm. it? Because the goalkeeper was already down. Yeah. So just simple touch. Actually, you have two great match. chances. And he missed both of them. Um, Danny, I mean, Nimli said a lot about the. The Kotoko team, how good they are playing at the moment. But the more Kotoko performs well, the, the more the struggles of Hasofuka are highlighted. Now they are 12 points behind Kotoko. They face them next weekend. I mean, this is not an ideal situation at all. And for the second week in a row, I want to congratulate Asante Kotoko for winning the 2021-2022 <laughs> Ghana Premier League season. Um, they are head and shoulders above all the teams in the league. And I think it's it's about time we stop comparing that gap between Hearts and Kotoko and give yeah, some because more no respect. Longer the Hearts of Oak. Yeah, give yeah, some more respect, more respect to the to teams the exactly. who are in between closer. the two of them. Because Hearts of Oak clearly are not uh, mounting a title actually in this season. Um, they don't look like a team that is serious. Um, the players just look very off. Um, Coach talks about the, the chance that Isaac Mensah misses, the chances that the team is missing. And you don't necessarily understand why and how they are missing such glaring opportunities. Now, when you want to compare the two teams, you look at Ituga and the sort of, not just this, the hat-trick he scored, but if you look at the sort of goals he's, he scored this season, by the penalties, he has this amazing composure in front of him. He he's never faced by pressure. He does. Very That's calm. He understands the, the box. Yeah, he understands the box. When the ball comes to him in the box, he's not rushing the chances. He's not in a hurry to get the ball off his feet. He knows exactly what he's going to do. He comes and he picks a spot. But if you look at the hearts of folk forwards, and you can tell that the current situation of the club is also getting to their heads. The fact that they, they know that in previous games they've created opportunities, they've not been able to score. Um, when a half chance comes, they are rushing into things. And Look, these things go, it goes beyond the players. It has to do with the coaching and some sort of mental preparation get, uh, going into games like this. Because where it has reached, I think they, just, they should just be told that they can't win the league. 
So you just take some pressure off them. Yes, yeah, they just do that. Take let's let's forget game. about the league title. We've we've lost it. It's twelve points. Is not, and probably what was going to make it fifteen next week. It's not. It's not going to happen. So just take your mind off it. Take it game after game after game and see um, how high you can finish. Because frankly speaking, the pressure has got, got into the team too much, and you can see it in every game that they play. Um, go out, they create a lot of opportunities. They are failing to score, and it's the same story after every week. The same story, the same, literally the same things that um, Sam Obedi is talking about. Um, we have to take our chances. I was disappointed we couldn't finish, and these things are getting. It's like a broken record. Maybe, it's, 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 it's a bit frustrating. Maybe Elijah can be can put on the jersey now and go and finish some <laughs> of these chances. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no more cargo no, indoors and in Gabon. Yeah. Come, okay. I like that. Can be. You should go where they just say where it's called. Give a can be some rest, okay? <laughs> <laughs> when okay. the team wins, that is where he comes and then he blows his trumpet. <laughs> now they are not winning. He should go mm. where they just say where it's called. And you see, let us show you this, and it's important. And this is why I usually like to arrange this this way. Heart of Kotoko, where they aim to be is at the highest level of African football, yeah. joining the very elite. And this weekend, the Cup Champions League, of course, got underway. And the performances, when you look at the quality of play, the pitches, everything that you see there, you compare it to what we have here, and then you, that's how you know that our football has a long way to go. 